mark mounting holes using a marking off template. Secure the mounting bracket. Check that the protruding part of the screws does not exceed the surface to prevent the heat sink from being scratched. Install the solar inverter onto the mounting bracket. Tighten the two nuts on the lower part of the solar inverter. Install the PE cable. Prepare an AC output power cable. Route the cable through a waterproof rubber plug with a proper hole diameter. Strip the insulation layer of the wires with a proper length as required. Use cord end terminals to ensure that the cords are not bent. Insert the cords into the AC connector correctly. Reassemble the AC terminal. Connect the AC power cable to the corresponding port on the solar inverter. Prepare DC input power cables. Identify the positive and negative mental terminals. The shorter one is negative. The longer one is positive. Connect DC input power cables to the solar inverter. Prepare a communications cable. The RS-485 communications cable must be a two-core outdoor shielded twisted pair cable. Cross-sectional area of the conductor is recommended. Cable outer diameter. The RS-485 communications cable can be used to cascade multiple solar inverters or connect the solar inverter to the smart logger 1000A.
It can also be used to connect the solar inverter to a smart power sensor. For a single solar inverter, connect the RS-485 port on the smart power sensor to ports 7 and 9 on the solar inverter. Connect the shielding layer of the cable to port 5. Connect port 9 to RS-485B. Connect port 7 to RS-485A. The waterproof rubber plug is used with the waterproof fillers to seal the redundant space between the cable and the terminal. Connect the communications cable. For multiple cascaded solar inverters, connect them to the COM port on the Smart Logger 1000A through an RS-485 cable. Connect the RS-485 port on the Smart Power Sensor to the COM port on the Smart Logger 1000A. In non-cascading scenarios, Connect the RS-485 cable to port 7 and 9 on the solar inverter. If the power grid company needs to use a ripple control device to remotely control the active power and reactive power output of the PV plant, ports 8 to 16 can be used. In non-cascading scenarios, Install a smart dongle to establish communication between the solar inverter and the management system. Install a SIM card for the smart dongle. Remove the shell of the smart dongle and install the SIM card. Install the smart dongle. 